What's up guys, Shadow16 here. Welcome to uh, a different kind of video. Today, I'm going to be officially announcing my retirement from competitive, I guess what you could call professional griff ball. Anybody new to the channel um, might not even know that, that I've done that, but mainly to the point because uh, Griff Ball hasn't been available to play in like eight or nine months um, competitively. So my official uh, retirement, I'm just uh, not finding it as fun anymore. I mean, like I said, we haven't been able to play it for eight months. And even before it became like that, it just was kind of getting a hassle to get on and play your league matches. Anybody who is new to the channel or, or has subscribed since... Uh, <clears throat> I put videos on my channel of Griffball before that. Um, there is a professional league for Griffball. Um, as odd as that may sound, some people who do not uh, know the game game type, it was it was a joke created by Rooster Teeth like nine years ago or so, and it spurred into this uh, half-made joke sport game inside of Halo. And either way, my friends um, and myself were, were uh, interested in red versus blue at the time. So we're like, hey, you know, whatever, we'll sign up. We're all good at Halo. You know, we, we win tournaments, local tournaments and whatnot. So we'll sign up for this. That's cool. So we went on to win like, or to lose in the championship of, our, of the first ever league. Had like 200 or so teams and then spiraled from there into, uh, you know, developing an actual pro league where hundreds of teams played each other every season, top players, um, a lot of dedication honestly to this sport even though it was a joke which turned into a fun game type which most of you would just be like oh it's just a you know it's just a lulzy game type you play inside of halo just to mess around but oh some of us did take it seriously uh so you know went on to win um 10 pro circuit championships which is the most by any person um by by quite a few i think i think like the closest person behind me was at like six or five no, like six. I think Silva was at like six. Maybe seven. Not sure. Uh, went on to win five GGL championships, which is the less competitive league, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're still playing like the professional players in the championships. And I won both um, RTX LAN events that I went to. Um, last year, winning $5,000. The year before that, winning a bunch of uh, merchandise from, from a bunch of companies that sponsored the tournament. So... Uh, I think what you could say about me and my Griff Ball career, I was uh, for sure never the best player, but uh, successfulness wise, is that a word? Successfulness? Yeah, sure. We'll run with successfulness wise. Um, there was nobody more successful than me. Um, so, anyways. I played Griff Ball for about eight years of my life, uh, stemming from high school all the way to a few, like last year. Um, made close to almost every friend I have on my friends list for Xbox through Griff Ball. Um, a lot of them I now know in real life, which is cool. And uh, it sucks, you know, to to be finally finally stopping because. Uh, I can tell you as a competitor, there's nothing more satisfying than, than playing the best of the best at, even if it's something as silly as Griff Ball to some people, the best of the best in a, in a game or in a profession or whatever you want to call it. There's nothing better than playing against those people and, uh, you know, most of the time winning. I won for the most part, you know, there, obviously there's a, some, some that I lost, but, um, yeah, no better feeling than, you know, putting a lot of time into something and, com and competing with, with friends and teammates and putting a lot of effort in and seeing the result at the end of the day. Uh, big shout out to Caleb, uh, Bernie for making the game type, obviously. Oh my god, I started the shout out section. This is going to take like eight years. I'm just going to dub it down, you know, all my teammates, you know who you are. I still stay in contact with most of you. Um, J-Bar for the podcast that we did that everybody loved, but we're not sure why, because it was completely the opposite of what, you know, anybody liked. So <laughs> he'll, he'll know what I'm talking about. Um, Griff Ball Hub, obviously, they kept 
it alive for as long as they could. They did what they could with what they had. So major props to them. Hope it uh, works out regardless of how much support we get from the developers. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Eight years. It's weird to stop doing something after eight years. Take take the. It's weird doing something. It's weird finishing something after eight years. Um, it's like sad, but like it's not at the same time because I wasn't enjoying it anymore anyway. And um, this isn't like a retirement. Oh my god, that's too close. This isn't like. <laughs> sorry. This isn't like a retirement where you know you retire and then you go back. I no, just. I'm just done. It was very fun while it lasted. So, to all the people that I played with, played against, to the hundreds probably of people that I pissed off at some point in my career because of my arrogance and cockiness and whatever else you want to call it, GG's. It was fun playing with you guys. To everybody who I still talk to and will continue to talk to, I'll see you around on the channel or on Smite or whatever else I do. I don't know. And as always, this is the last time I'll be saying this is Shadow S16 for a Griff Ball video. Okay, bye.